Hey everyone, welcome back to NRL Fantasy Analysis. In this video, we're going to be talking about the front row forward position and the guns we want to be looking at bringing in our team. So, by the end of the season, we're going to be wanting to have three front row forwards in our squad. I'd say two in, obviously, two in our main section, and then we'd have one on the bench and maybe like a dual position front row, second row forward, uh, which can go between the both. So, let's roll through the players that are available. I've obviously got a couple in my team that I think might be worth looking at but we'll start from the top Alex Twal looks like he should be back this week he's underpriced he's already gone up 100k averaging 59 and that's with a 30 yeah in the last bit so he was averaging way over 60 about 67 before the 30 he I would say apart from Payne Haas is your top option in the front row forward position he's playing massive minutes it'll just be Seeing how many minutes he's going to play coming back from injury, you'll probably be able to get him at a little bit of a discount with that 30 in there and maybe a, a few games with less minutes. So he's someone I'd be looking to get into your squad. Again, obviously seeing how he is faring after his injury. Josh Papali scores tries. <laughs> he's got four tries this year, averaging 58. So he's not <clears throat> he's not going to be the, the guy you're getting in purely for base stats. But he does play good minutes. He averages about 60 minutes. And in a team which has lost a bunch of their front row forwards, he's going to be called upon to do a lot of a lot of things. You can see there he's, especially over the last three weeks, averaging 30 tackles. He's only he's got three games in there where he had above, yes, yeah, so he's 38 and above tackles. But he's someone that's that makes that makes his tackle breaks, makes good meters with ball in hand, and does really well. I'd say he's slightly under Alex Twal because he does rely on a few tries and if he and if he does miss out on, on tries in a few of these games, then he's lucky to get fifty. And we don't fifty is not good enough in the front row position. But it's currently fifty eight. Twal would be in the sixties, so I put him ahead of him. Fisher Harris. Awesome games. You know, obviously last week. Played sixty six minutes, is one of his highest of the year. A little bit up and down in his scoring. You can see there's a 43 in there, the 39, a 42 earlier. But doing really well to average some very high numbers. He has games where he has 58 tackles. There's one, there was one last year he got something stupid like that and made crazy metres. Yeah, 58 tackles, 246 metres is an incredible game. So he's getting a lot of his points from his running. But surprisingly, he doesn't get many tackle breaks, just runs a hard and straight. So... One thing I'll say with Fisher Harris is the fact that he's second row, front row, dual. I'd say it actually probably puts him ahead of Papali, just in my eyes. They're very close. They're somewhere in that top five, which I'll, I'll name a sort of a top three or five by the end of the video. Dave Clemmer, a little bit too inconsistent for me. I said the last three weeks are a bit lower 58, 52, 47. Just plays. A little bit lower minutes than some of the other guys, which just means there is going to be that inconsistency. You know, if their if their team's attacking a lot, scoring a bunch of tries, there's less minutes for them to get their their base stats. And you know, Clem has had a had a great season, but he's not someone that I would look to bring in. Just doesn't make doesn't make enough tackles. Relies you know on his on his offloads and tackle bus with with his runs there to get his points. Where you want to look for these guys is. Is people that can that can get that forty tackles a game on average, with you know one one fifty to two hundred meters with their with their couple of breaks or anything like that. So again, he's probably not in the in the top bunch. For Noah Blake at fifty one, I'm gonna i I'm gonna leave out. For Morris, he's had one one massive game and that's it. He scored two tries in that. So Fidi was looking really good and I I was looking at him or Mo Ford Awake to bring into my squad bunch of weeks ago again playing playing good good minutes up over 50 is obviously injured now so we'll leave him out of the conversation but i was definitely thinking about him matt eisenhuth will lose his spot when twile comes back that's all i've got to say for those that brought him in and and got what five scores out of him obviously not as good last week but he did really well and you, and you made 80k but uh, yeah that's you're gonna have to bank that and move on when Twile comes back. 
Taki Aho, a bunch of people bringing bringing him in him in this last few weeks. Minutes have gone up. That's obvious. Now that I think he's fully fit, just hasn't been really fit the last the last few years, unfortunately. And hopefully that stays for good now. But he's fifty two and sixty five will probably be his outlier. I think he'll be closer to sixty if he plays that many minutes. Like he's that that guy we're talking about that's averaging that forty tackles and that one fifty to two hundred meters there. So. Yeah, at at these price of what six ninety six, could probably be a cut price keeper. Yeah, he's definitely someone that I have interest in bringing into my team. Hasn't been a noted fantasy gun in the past. When he first came in the league, it was a great cash cow. But since then, that's that's what that's what worries me. Just the fact that he hasn't done it for multiple years. But I think it's because he's been injured a lot, and just hasn't got back to his. His, his full potential, which we know, you know, he's amazing. He's an amazing player. He can do really well. So, just think about that with him. If you're interested in bringing him in, and if if that's the only you know, the only money you have, then at that price point, I'd say he's he's the man to go for. We have we could probably briefly talk about Maguire, just playing such big minutes now. The Cowboys that he's worth considering, but even you know, it's forty five and seventy one minutes. 58 minutes for 41 earlier. He's going to be slightly inconsistent as well, but he should average, you know, mid-50s. When he's someone that makes a bunch of missed tackles, can make it hard sometimes to, to score really well. But in the Cowboys team, he's he's doing a lot of work at that price point. But I'd say Takia has a better option. And from the other guys, I know a couple of people have brought in Junior Paulo. Only thing to think about with him is that he has back spasms at the moment. He's back to 61 minutes on the weekend for 52 You'd like that to be closer to 60. Obviously, that really good three-game stretch there, 56, 65, 65, but his, all his other scores are just over 50 or under, so I wouldn't call him a keeper from there. And then the only one, other one I want to talk about was Marty Tapao. This year, unfortunately, he's a little bit just playing less minutes. If I'm honest, that's all it is. He's, he used to average over 50. And you can see those first three games, even with the high 40s minutes, he gets... He's averaging like 59, so big difference since he got injured in round five. He's come back and played less minutes, and he obviously played 48 and 49 in a couple of them, but it's just not enough for me. You can see any scores haven't been good enough. It's simple, and that's why he, that's why he's gone down 173K. He was an absolute gun last year and, and the year before, but not from here, and... That's all I want to talk about in, in this group, guys. And then we've just got the two guys in my team. Being, obviously, Payne Haas. He is your number one option. Even with the less minutes. Yeah. So he did play 80 last week. Oh, yeah, that's right. They had a few injuries, so he had to. But, yeah, if he plays 80, he's the best by far. If he plays less than that, he's still averaging in the mid-60s. So he's your number one. Mo Ford Awake is your other option there. And apart from last week, I think he's doing really well. I just uh, brought him in at about 700k on the dot. And he's done the job except for last week. So, again, I wouldn't... I'd be bringing Takiyaha over him right now. And then Paddy Carrigan is the other one I wanted to speak about. So what you can see, guys, is there, there's a lot of a lot of good front row forwards, and, and picking your three is probably it's not an exact science. It's just you know if you can get someone in at this exact time and get his scores now. You know, the, the earlier you get a gun in, the more good scores you get. The higher points over the year. Um, so don't don't hesitate to bring in in guns now. Obviously, you can get unlucky and get injuries, but yeah, that's something you just have to live with. All right, since he's played over 60 minutes, 69, 85, and 66 points. So if he continues this, which I think he should, he should score really well. I'm really happy with it, with where he's at. He, it's probably just based on the last three weeks, he's in my top three. And we'll go through that now. So Payne Haas, Carrigan, and then the other guys from there. Twal, that's my clear top three. Haas, Twal, Carrigan. And then from there, you've got a grouping of Papali and Fisher-Harris. 
And then in your other group there, let's let's go with Takiaho above Clemmer just. And that's all you need to think about. So guys, work out your front row forwards. See where you're at. I'd say most people have at least two gun, like two of those three or four gun front row forwards and just working out how to get that last one in. And just that big one, like, you know, the guys like Twile and Fisher-Harris, Carrigan, they have that dual position. So really, really helpful come the end of the year, especially when the injuries come up. And I know a lot of us don't have any trades. So just think about that when you're making your trades for the front row forward position, guys. And good luck with those.